Hello there gamers, Gonda here and welcome back to Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Last time we started Act 2, we done quite a bit and we met the Enchantress. Uh, we killed a few things and now we're off to hunt down Magda. I thought it was the Wizard of Oz. Yes. <laughs> we're going to hunt down the Wizard of Oz. Yes, we are going to hunt down, hunt down the Wizard of Oz. Why? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should have called my Bavarian Dorothy. Why do you look like the Tin Man? Yeah. I'm dressed in all white. Yeah. Me. So yeah, before we started, uh, Mark went and dyed his monk's uh, clothing colour. First he said, "Make it easier for me to spot." Yeah. First he said he looked like the White Ranger. Do you think? Uh. Well, if the actor who plays the White Ranger grew that kind of beard, then yeah. Thank you. So yeah, we'll, we'll start calling you Tommy. Which, I'm not surprised considering how like... Ooh! Like, uh... Ooh, stay away from them. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised considering how like the Power Rangers, uh... Actually just, just use their, uh, like punches and kicks to take down their foes. It is not ready yet. Oh, something's not ready. Yeah, I can't hunt for the place. <laughs> All those demon killer might make him look right for what they do. Yeah. Yeah, a Doom Diablo crossover. Or Diablo with special guest DLC, Doom Guy. <laughs> Just goes around and shoots everything. Well, technically, you can make. You can do that by naming the Demon Hunter Doom Guy. Yeah. If you want. Yeah. Which I will probably do when I get him. Yeah. But I suppose that's only if. Um, uh, Blizzard got their hands on Doom. Bethesda. Well, yeah, I know Bethesda done Doom, but you know Blizzard does Diablo. Oh, something shiny, or something's gonna blow up. Oh, yeah, experience game. Yeah, more cult members. We're getting close. Yeah. That ability is not yet I remember I got the guide for that. Yes, I remember. How is they to like to help me with the game? I mean, they probably get they yeah. probably get through it. Yeah. You just probably wanted it for the collection purposes. No, I just to see what other items are on the game. Yeah, oh, crush what? that scorpion. You mean Hanzo Hasashi? Yeah. 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 Yes, I crush a scorpion and scorpion from Mortal Kombat comes out of nowhere. Hmm. That would not look, I no. would not want that. No. Or how about Scorpion from Mortal Kombat versus the Scorpion King? I think Scorpion would yeah. would win. Yeah, but I'm not talking about uh, obviously, I'm talking about the one from uh, the film, but the rock. yeah, but the one I was thinking of was is the the CG one from the Mummy. I must wait mm. to use that ability. The really bad CG one. Mm, yeah. Oh no, I'm, I'm dying! Yeah. I'm dying! I'm dying! Run away, run away! Yeah, but if it if it is the human version, then uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Scorpion would probably win. Oh, big black swirly thing. Summoning. Yeah, summon a man a man. Summon a man a man. Summon a man a man. That's enough. You're welcome. <laughs> You've been doing that all day. Yeah. yeah. Right? What can I say except you're welcome <laughs> for playing <laughs> Diablo with me? <laughs> See if you, if that's good, I don't get flagged. 
Yeah. What can I say except you're welcome? Because you're a monk and the barbarian is me. You're welcome. <laughs> hey, it's enough. Uh, this isn't sing Disney songs along with, with us. Be prepared. Oh, now you're just... Now you're just trying to be annoying. Can you feel the no, not that one. Not that one. Let it go. <laughs> No, that's just taking it too far. I know you realise. All right, fine then. I ho, I ho. Uh, we're playing Diablo. We go no. I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd let you write a couple of lines before you try that again. <laughs> fine then. The seaweed is always greener. <laughs> no. What do you mean? Seaweed is green. Alright, fine then. Um, making Christmas, making Christmas, crystal fine. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny how you. Uh, you wouldn't think that was, that, was, that was a Disney film. Yeah. Then when it was released through a punch one. Yeah. But, yep. Well, I guess Tim Burton's oh, the kind of. Director who knows when something should and shouldn't be a Disney uh, production. Oh, broken promise! I've been hard of them. <laughs> and it even looks like a ring. There you go, just give that to your spouse. Let them know that sometime in the future one of you is gonna have a promise and you'll break it. Instead of a wedding or engagement ring, just give them one that says broken promises. Yep, you're just sorting out your abilities. I've noticed that I've not actually checked these for a while. No, you haven't. Maybe we should have checked those before we started the video. Probably. But, oh. Yeah, well, okay. Determination! Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, there you go. That, that would be a nice uh, DLC character. Frisk from Undertale. Right, Undertale my turn. Shortly. Yep. Um, well, uh, you're oh, that. Hold on. Uh, wrong button. There you go. Oh, yeah, I was already on it. You get your padlocked ability as well. Yeah. Unlock. A new padlocked ability. Pound of flesh. Superstition. Tough as. I got to it. Yeah, let's, let's go for tough as nails. Oh, just take a drink then. Okay, yep, you can just take a drink. More summoning things. Ah, ha, ha. Die. Right. Yeah, well, I can see two places where we can go. Alright, uh, try and get the bonus uh, uh, screen of eight people. We just need another three. Alright. There's more than three people here, so. I'm pretty sure we can handle it. Oh, well, we've got one. Got two. What the hell, since when did Bane get put in here? Huh? Those big things with the clubs. They almost remind me of Bane. Oh. Bane didn't use a club. I know, but it's, it, it's just the way they look like from here. Oh, and I really hate those ones that bring you in towards them. Vortex abilities. Yeah. Yeah, I can't stand that ability. I also can't stand the ones that reverse your controls. No, that's it. Uh, you just thought about the other Ah. Yeah. I would rather be affected by Scarecrow's fear toxin. <laughs> no. Because then, that way, I would actually be able to see what I'm scared of. 
because it might, might be something I don't even know about. Mm, subconsciously, probably you do. Yeah. Help us! You can't leave us here! I will free you. Yeah. I'm just breaking their skin apart now. Well, I do fire damage now for my. Oh. oh, so that was you who punched them out of their skin. Alright. Yeah, that would be nice to see. A, a, a Diablo game done in the style of Mortal Kombat, where you pick your character class and then you just fight. Just like in Mortal Kombat. You know, or maybe if and when Diablo Four comes out, maybe make that as a little Shh. bonus extra People mode. I don't know how this one ends. I don't know. I said if and when. Uh, Diablo find a way to come back. Exactly, it's Diablo. He's like thrush. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Like, like a rash on the galaxy's backside, he keeps coming back. As quoted by Captain Copernicus Quark. We don't need to do all these optional areas by the way. I know we don't. <laughs> but we're going in here anyway. Maybe just for the EXP. Maybe it is because that we're that you you picked up the EXP bonus shrine and I'm almost level 33 and you're just almost there as well. Speaking of speaking of Doom. Yeah, that's <laughs> it it's 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 cool but disturbing at the same time looking at, at a big massive demon with its chest split open and you can see its uh, ribs. That really makes you uncomfortable. No, I mean, come on, we've both played Fallout, you know? You've They've got hanging one. bodies in that game. You're the only one that plays it with body mess, I don't. Yes, I do. However, that is actually quite funny to see people getting... Exactly. I like shoot somebody in the head and they just go pop. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I still find it funny if you shoot him in the head and the leg blows up. That's what I'm saying. When yeah. you shoot them, they just pop. Yeah. Like a balloon. Yeah, it's, it's Bethesda. Their games are known for being glitchy and stuff, but sometimes those those ones are pretty funny. That's why I always like to massively save my games and, and Fallout each time. What was your favourite ending? Don't. Four, three. Four. Four. Um, Without. Spoiling too much in case people haven't played it yet, even though the game's been out for a couple of years. Uh, Railroad. Yeah, there's Brotherhood. Railroad, Brotherhood, Minutemen, and Institute. Um, I think I would have to say the Institute. Yep, you don't have to play the story if you don't want to, you can go off and do side quests and get everything maxed out before you even start the story. Play when it says in the third one, go look for your dad or pretend or yes, make sure he never existed. Yep. Which is actually quite funny because see if you blow up Megaton, yeah, and then go find him, yeah. Somehow he knows what you've done. Yeah, considering he was stuck in that virtual reality pod. I for a while. Yeah. With Betty. Yep. Yes, a creepy German scientist. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Stanislaus Braun. Yeah, well, well that, that's one thing that I've wanted to do in, in Fallout 3 is when you're going for the Gek, uh, is to not use Fox to, to get it, you know, to actually go in and get it yourself. Speedrunners do that. Yeah, but you need, need a hell of a lot of uh, radaways. Yeah, 
you've seen the speedrun yet? Yes, I've seen. It's I, like the twenty minute. Exactly. Yes, I've seen speedruns on speedrunners.com. You know, that's that's where I usually see most of the speedruns of games that I'm interested in to see who's been speedrunning them. Right, you ready? Yes. Although unfortunately, it doesn't show you that one where, uh, where you talk of the 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 guy who played through Fallout Three and didn't kill anybody. I only heard about that. Yeah. It was actually Fallout Four. Fallout oh, Four. Oh. I broke the game. <laughs> yeah. Because he didn't kill a yep. single person. Yep. It might sound sound cruel, but obviously in the Fallout games there are characters that are that deserve to die or are supposed to die. Yeah, unless of course if it's like one of those situations where a character dies like in a cutscene, I don't think you can try and stop that. Unless mm. unless he somehow found a way. But anyway, here we go. I know there's a what do you call it? Yeah. One of these side quests. Yeah. To help with what I get Bobby No Nose, I think it is. Yeah, one of the ghouls. Aye. Uh, yeah. One of the quests for her. Oh, uh, oh wait, yeah, 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 I think Bob Nolan is a female girl, I think. Yeah, I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, you're being surrounded. But yeah, yeah the only annoying thing about Fallout 4 is when you meet the vault Tech guy as a girl, you know, and then he ends up getting himself killed along the way if you don't, like, uh, kind of protect him. Uh, Case. I know. Well, you can be sarcastic to him. Mm -hmm. How have you? Because he asks you how you. It's you. How have you stayed so young? Mm -hmm. And he answers like, well, the bond of my enemies keep keep things me from mm -hmm. you. Yeah. He goes, oh, that's funny. Yeah. Because uh, I can remember when we were playing it, and we actually followed him to see what happens, and he ended up getting himself killed. Because I know when I played it on mine, um, I told him to go back to. Uh, yeah, San Sanctuary, and I waited for ages, and he didn't even appear. And then, as I looked up on various sources, you know, it it turns out that there's a chance he could get killed along the way. Because I think that's the only thing with uh, the Fallout games is that characters don't magically warp from one location to another; they actually literally walk all the way. Uh, yeah. Especially if it's a character that you send to Sanctuary, if it's like one end of the map, you have to protect them all the way to the end. Okay, damage. Yeah, Jesus, we've almost beat her. Yeah, I think you're doing more damage than I am. See, because now that's a uh, seven sided strike. Yeah. Well, if that's, that's the. That's basically one of the. You know, main abilities. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna focus my attacks on Mad Die anyway. Oh, but we need to keep an eye on our health. So far, we've not had any need for the death counter yet. Is the death counter set up? I, I actually do not know. <laughs> I'll probably need to. Oh, did you beat her? Awesome. Oh, there you are. Trophy and the Coven Overthrown. So, there we go. So, at least now I don't have to blur out any names. So, there we go. At long last, Kane has been avenged. Fire ally. Seven sided strike causes enemies to burn for a short, <laughs> for a short duration. Blade Storm. Okay. Right, check your abilities just in case you've leveled up. Oh well, I've got a unidentified object that I don't even see. Well, you just 72. Oh. 
that was one of the things that dropped. Hmm. Awesome. All right, I'll equip that. What are you doing? It's quite funny that your character looks like she's dressed for winter. Yeah. But she's in a desert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe she should take a, take part in Game of Thrones or something. What do you mean, by that? Well, doesn't Game of Thrones take place in like a wintry area or something? No, not. Well, quite. well, I'm just referring to the wall. Yeah, well, maybe certain parts. I don't watch a lot of TV, yeah. so any. Yeah, portrait frames. Oh, half formed goblin. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's one of the things we get for. Oh, well, there you go. You've not played as Necromancer yet, but you can have the wings. And have the little necromantic pet who, for some reason, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of Sam from <laughs> Evil Dead. <laughs> you know, we can probably kick it if we want to. <laughs> See what pets you've got? Mine's is probably the same. Uh, what your paragon thing is? In fact, your inventory. Uh, inventory. And uh, see the the wee bag. The wee bag. And uh, the wee mirror. The mirror. Wings versus gaze and wings. Oh, crit, crit the guardian. Yeah, I can get. Bloodmaster. Bonus sinew bend at your command. And the portrait frames. Bit of the neck. See, because you've got the paragon stuff. Yeah. Yours are gonna. You get more more options. Ah, uh, yeah. Right, Alcarnus. So all we need to do now is go back to town. Yep. And then we go. When then we get to go see the emperor. Yep. That's yeah. probably where we're doing. Oh, it's two minutes. Yeah, and oh, on. Well, that's something like that. And unfortunately, just like Mercy's gaze, those wings cannot let you fly. I thought it was a bag. Nope. Mm. But yeah, for some reason they also kind of remind me of the wings you get in uh, Brutal Legend. Oh, I remember you. Yeah. Oh, I remember you, you actually had yeah. that Yes, I've still got it. Do you? Yeah, I don't know if I will do a Let's Play of it just because there's a lot of licensed songs on it. Mm. You know, unless... I understand you. No idea. Yeah, unless if there is a way to like play the game completely in, uh, well, with no music playing at all. You just turn the back, turn off the background music. Yeah, but I know I can turn it off when you're in that vehicle, but I'm talking about the music that plays when you're like uh, bringing out all your units and stuff and defending your little stage. Well, you can just turn off the background music so you've got the options. Oh well. Yeah. 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 that sound was it was me. Yes. My bottle of juice, right? Yes, you were drinking some Fanta. You know how Fanta came into existence? How did Fanta come into existence? Germany couldn't get a license for Coca-Cola. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised because I'm pretty sure Coca-Cola's an American uh, company. Ah, uh, but they tried to make it during the war, so it was like, ah, oh. uh, well. Okay, so Fanta's a German brand, Coca-Cola's an American brand, Iron Brew's Scottish brand, uh, and tea's an English brand. <laughs> and... Those lovely uh, soft drinks we had at Insomniacs resonate with the um, really weird little open bottles of Japanese brand. Ah, they were really good. Yeah. Uh, I would actually want another one. Uh, I guess when Mark and I went to Insomniacs resonate, we saw this stall with all selling like, uh, Japanese sweets and drinks, and we came across these wee bottles. And normally, when you open up a, a bottle, you either twist the cap or you use a bottle. Oh, open them but these ones were really strange you had to like peel off this little plastic seal and then there was this little I oh, just need to lift it up and then take the I know, seal off it. I know but you would need to take the seal off first then there was this little I don't know what you call it a little switch that you could take out but what you would need to do is like put it over put the ball inside like a basin put the wee switch uh, on top of the ball and literally slam it down well, you don't even need to slam it down, you just need yeah. to... Yeah, well, I don't know, the, the people in the stalls told you to slam it down. 
Yeah, and they also had th this little, I think, video playing in the background of their stall, kind of showing what anime it, it was from. Yeah, I mean, I tried to watch that way. Yeah, well, yeah, you'll know what it is. I don't, I didn't recognise it. Yeah, um, I had to stop watching yeah. it because the, the mm. actual anime was actually giving me diabetes. Okay, yeah. Because the mountain shrieks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you actually went back to that stall another twice after the first time we went there. Yes, because the drinks were that damn good. Exactly. What flavour did you get again? Uh, I think I got plain lemonade. Mm. Yeah, because I got the clear one and you got the yellow, I think. No, it was the blueberry. Oh, blue. Bl blueberry. Yeah. I'll leave, uh, I'll leave getting the. Yeah. No, you you yeah. salvage your stuff. Yeah, I will. Well, uh, if I ever uh, get the money, we can probably go to next year's and so many extra, isn't it? And if they're there again, you can probably actually keep one of the bottles this time. Like uh, I've seen a few things that could have, like, better armour. Yeah, well, your knight's glyph. Yeah, but it's got less armour. Aye, but it's your strength that's giving you the benefit. Mm. Alright, you get 14% extra damage from Rend. Ooh. <laughs> Which I think is one of your abilities that you're using. I think so. so uh, yeah, I'll leave that. The two stats you're mainly after is strength and vitality. Yeah. For me, it's dexterity and vitality. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Let me quit that. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's put that vigilante belt back. Just, just because, because I'm not really keen on, uh, like, salvaging any uh, any pieces of equipment that are orange. There's actually a challenge for doing that. Yeah, I think I might have done it a, f a few times as the witch doctor. And um, there's certain bits of armor that you need to salvage in order yeah. to get certain materials that you only yeah. get through really rare armor. Yeah. Well, he's fully up upgraded anyway, so I guess. That for means you, that for, I'm for me. I yeah. So yeah, I guess that must mean that I have at least salvaged some golden weapons at some point. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, to you, get to level. Yeah, you, you only need three more. Before yeah. I killed her, Magda told me that the Imperial Guard had captured Leah. But hmm. Yeah, I don't know why, but the monk now kind of reminds me of the new look for Kratos, <laughs> just because Kratos now has the beard. <laughs> He's always had one. Kratos never had a had a he beard. Had a tea. Yeah, but he's he's always been like smooth under the chin. Well, I think he's taking on the Nordic pantheon. <laughs> yeah. So chances are you're going to see Thor getting his head ripped off. Ah well. And probably rammed up his rear end. Ah well. Fine by me. Odin's going to be losing his other eye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, basically he's going to end up killing the remaining gods and he'll be the only one left. He'll be the cause of Ragnarok. Yeah. Unless, if, well, I've never played God of War, unless, of course... Oh, yeah. Remember my uncle oh, brought that up once? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that was only that one point on the ship. Unle that was the first level. Yeah, unless, of course, if Kratos has left any gods alive that he finds ah, okay. useful. Or are, like, kind of his allies or something. Well, it... Kind of ended up killing one of them and then hung from their dead body and blew a bit of the map. Hmm. And used as a weight for a switch. <laughs> oh well. If you didn't know. <laughs> God, yeah. Kind of reminds me of that little indie game that's going around where you like plays these knights and in order to progress you have to kill each knight. Is that not Neat Hog? No. Uh, basically, like, for... Right, right, you play as this wee knight, right? And you need to like get to the other side, but in in the middle, the floors are covered with spikes. So you need to like use the first knight to jump into the spikes to kill him. Then another knight spawns, and then jump on that knight, then jump on onto spikes again to make like a path. Right? Are these suicide knights or something? No, they're just normal knights. Yeah, it's it's one of those little in, indie games. Hmm. He used to sell the dice. Yeah. Before the update. Yeah, and I didn't realise how big his smoking pipe was. I think when he turned off that. Well, turn off the pet of the wings. 
Uh, okay. Just, it just looks weird having a big scythe sticking at your back. <laughs> yeah, I think that's only for the necromancer. Yeah. Uh, here we are, we have uh, met the Emperor of Chaldeum, who is just a small boy. Oh, sweet Jesus. Alcarnus was the work of Magda and her covenant, who served Belial. If you are innocent, then why do you have spies skulking through my sewers? Bring her in! Let me go! I detest violence. Gods, I leave this matter in your hands. Alright. There's beers and guards who have turned into no, no. yeah, creepy snake people. I know that's what oh. they're actually called. Yeah. Okay. Obviously I, I, I don't like saying that or can yeah. to something else. Yeah. yeah. That's why I just call them snake people. Oh. Whoa. I was dying here. I'm in the boat with this game, jeez. Yeah, what are you doing there? That was what, I, I always focus on the top of the screen, so I keep forgetting. <laughs> get out of here. I will cover your escape. Thank you. Now we need to get to the sewers. Yeah, yeah, I think next when you head to the sewers or something. Yep. And we'll get to see or we'll see your old to you know your face. Yep. Especially for those who've played Diablo 1. You don't really see the faces in Diablo 1, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Because they're really pixely. And even if you try to zoom it in, it'll probably look even more pixely. Quick. <laughs> yes, quick. Oh, chest. I didn't realise how close I was to level 34. Uh, Remember the double EXP? Yeah. Now if you want we can just let these guys keep coming. We could. Oh, I think they hang on and uh, destroy the other one. Yeah. Well, oh, there you go. Yep, and you're almost there as well. Okay, I think when we get to the sewers I think we can stop. Uh, That's a yeah. few minutes. Yep. Although maybe it's a bit different for you. Yeah. The video. Uh, yeah. The edit, because I know you be yeah. editing the video first. Yeah, I'll be cutting out these bits from the start. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> it's just fun watching your wee pair chase after you. <laughs> Electric thing. Oh, ball of sound of this. Ah, the days of the whole beach. Yeah, okay, well, here we are. We're now in the sewers. Now, do I stop it here? Or yeah, uh, well, kill this thing and we can uh, kill all of these and we can stop it here. I don't want to like start and then we we'll have to deal with these when we restart. What are you doing? Go back to the hidden camp. Then you can stop the video oh. so you don't get attacked. Oh, all right, fine then. All right, Unless well, you want to go back and kill them. No, it's all right. We can start that in the next episode. So yeah, that's it. Uh, you are. Uh, did. Yep, so yeah, so we've uh, done a good bit of the desert, we have met the Emperor who seems to have a bit of a hatred for us, and well, now... he sees it as we are kind of... Yeah. We uh, murder the entire town. Yes, and now we're going to go through the stinky sewers. Mm, lovely. Meet someone. Yes. So next time we will meet this certain someone, although Leah did mention who it was before you left, it's someone called Adria, the same Adria who was in Diablo 1 who helped you heal and I think sell your potions and stuff. No, she sold you staffs and 
home for mm, yeah them. she's basically see the sorcerer yeah that's her that's, yeah. that's his shop okay yeah and uh, obviously we pass by her hut back in uh, act one so yeah we can definitely get to see her so we'll do that in the next episode so i'm going to night night this guy's been and we'll see you guys in the next <clears> episode <throat> so we'll see you then <laughs>